Okay, so this is the key to uh, section 13.1 part C and in number one you want to find the GCF, so the greatest common factor of each of these set of numbers. So in part A you have uh, the numbers 32 and 48 and basically you want to find what's the largest common factor that these two numbers have in common. So what's the largest? All right, now one way to do that is to use a factor tree and then that's going to give you an idea of how to do these right here where you have variables raised to uh, certain exponents. Okay, so if we look at the factor tree for 32, so we have 32 and we're going to use a factor tree to write this as a product of prime numbers because every composite number can be written as a product of prime numbers. So we have 2 times 16, so 2 is prime, so I'm going to circle this to indicate that I can't do anything else to this because 2 is a prime number. And 16, let's say, is 4 times 4. You could use any number you want to, 8 times 2, and so on. Except don't use 16 and 1 because, because 1's not a prime number. The smallest prime number is 2. All right, so and then 4, since 4 is composite, I can rewrite this as 2 times 2, and 2 are, uh, uh, is prime, so I'm going to circle those, and same thing here. So if I look at 32, so I can write 32, I'm going to do that here, so I can write 32 as 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So remember, 32 means this, it means 2, and then there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 factors of 2. So 32 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is the same thing as 2 to the 5th power. Now let's look at 48. So when I look at 48, and I do the factor tree for 48, Let's, I'm going to use uh, 4 times, let's say, 12. So 4 times 12. So 4 times 12 is 48. You can use any two numbers whose product is 48. Any two whole numbers, I should say, whose product is 48. And two, 4 I can write as 2 times 2. Uh, so the 2 uh, is prime. And then 12, I'm going to go ahead and use, let's say, 3 and 4. So 3 is prime. And then 4 I can write as 2 times 2. So basically what I found is that 48 I can write as a product of prime numbers. All these are prime numbers. So I can write it as 2, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4 factors of 2. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and then times 3. So 48 I can write as 2 to the 4th power times 3. So 48 is 2 to the 4th power times 3. So once, once you do that part, once you write it like this, then it's easy to determine the, the greatest common factor. So if you look at, at 32 and 48, they both have factors of 2 in common. They don't both have factors of 3, so that means that 3 is not a common factor. Because 3 appears here, but it doesn't appear here. So first of all, you get to look for common factors. So 2, there, uh, 2 is a factor of of both of those, but the question is, how many, how many factors of two are in each one? So, so there are five factors of uh, two in thirty-two, and then four factors of two in forty-eight. So, in terms of how many factors they have in common, there are four factors that they have in common. So that would be the greatest common factor. So the GCF of these two. Let me put that here. So the GCF, GCF of 32 and 48 is 2 to the 4th, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 4 is 16. So the GCF of uh, part A is 16. Now if you look at B, B you don't need a factor 3. You don't need to do this because you know that the only factors of 7, so the factors of 7 are 1 and 7. So those are the factors of 7. And if you look at 33, the factors of 33, if you do it that way, are uh, 1, 33, 3, and 11. So those are the only factors of 33. So if you look at these two numbers, 7 and 33, and you look at what they have in common, the only factor that they have in common is 1, and that happens to be the largest common factor.
the greatest common factor. So the GCF here is 1. Now let's look at C. So we're going to do C with the factor tree. So let's, let's uh, um, look at it this way. So C, you have 12, which I can write as, as 4 times 3. 3 is prime. And 4 I can write as 2 times 2. So 12 is 2 to the second power times 3. 18, I'm going to go ahead and do that here. 18 I can write as 3 times 6. 3 is prime. And then 6 I can write as 2 times 3. So uh, 18 becomes 2 times 3 squared. And I'm going to try and align my common factors to make it easier to see. And then the other one is 60. And then 60 is 10 times 6. And 10 is 2 times 5. And both of those are prime. And then 6 is 2 times 3. And both of those are prime. So 60 I can write as 2 times 2, which is 2 to the second power and then 3 times 5. So I'm going to put that here. So 60 is 2 to the second times 3 times 5. All right, now let's look at what they have in common. So these three numbers, they have factors of 2 in common and factors of 3 in common. No factors of 5 are in common in all of them. So the question is, how many factors of 2 are here? So there are two factors of 2 here, only one here, and two here. So, so the, the maximum common factors they have is just one because there's only one here. So, so far the GCF of 12, uh, 18, and 60 is one factor of two times, and then let's look at the three. So, there is one factor of three here, two factors here, one here. So, um, the greatest common, the greatest common number of factors I have in common is one. So, it's two times three. So that's 6. So the greatest common factor of 12, 18, and 60 is 6. So using this idea about, um, and, and I want you to notice that, that when we looked at these, the greatest common factor, when you compared the, uh, um, the factors with the exponents, um, that the greatest common factor happened to be the, the, uh, the one with the smallest exponent. So using that idea, if you look at this one, there are five factors, I'm sorry, four factors of four, uh, y, five factors of y, eight factors of y. So, the, so if you compare them like we did this, these three terms, these three terms, the maximum number of factors they have in common is four factors of y. So we get y to the fourth. Over here, there's only one factor of x here, 10 here. So the maximum common factors they have to, in common is x, is just one factor. All right, so for 12, 9, and 30, um, the GCF of 12, 9, and 30, so you look at the coefficients first. So the GCF of 12, 9, and 30 is um, 3. And then let's look at the, the variables. So they have x to the 8, so the 8 factors of x is here, 9 factors of uh, x here, and then uh, 8 factors of x here. So the maximum common factors they have, the greatest common factor they have in terms of the variable is x to the 5th. All right, now here this is negative, but um, we're just going to keep the greatest common factor positive. So we have a negative 9, 15, and 6. So the largest number that, that goes into negative 9, 15, and 6 is 3. And then I have two factors of x, I have four factors of x, and then six, uh, one factor of x here. So the maximum is just one factor of x. So you use the f is 3x. Over here, your coefficients are 11, 1, and 1. So the largest common factor that 11, 1, and 1 have in common is 1. All right, so I'm going to leave that 1 off for right now. So I'm just write it here. So that's 1. Now look at the variable a's. So there are two variables here, a's and b's. All right, so we have a's in all of them. So I'm going to need, since there, are a, uh, since there are factors of a in all of these, I'm going to need a in my GCF. All right, but let's see how many I need. So there's one factor here. The exponent's 1. It's understood to be 1. There are 2 here and then 1 here. So the greatest common factor is 1 factor of A. And then the uh, variable B, there are uh, B's in all of those. So I'm going to need uh, at least one factor B here. There are 3 here, 3 here, 
and two here, so I need two of them. Now, we tend to, um, since, since the coefficient here is 1, we tend to leave the 1 out because 1 times a times b squared is just a b squared. So uh, don't put the 1. It's just understood to be a 1 here. you got to know the notation. Mathematically, this is the same thing as this. We prefer to mathemat mathematically write it like this. All right. Now, the GCF of uh, the coefficients here, 36 and 42, is 6. So 6 goes into 36, and 6 goes into 42, and it turns out that 6 is the greatest common factor. Okay, now, um, let's see. Let's do the variables of x's. So there are 5 uh, factors of x here, 12 here, so I need 5 of them. That's, that's how many they have in common, and that's the largest. There are uh, variable y's in both of those. There are two factors of um, y here, one factor of y here, so I need just one of them. I'm not going to put any z's in here, any factors of z's in my GCF, because there are uh, factors of z here, but none here. So they have no z's in common, no factors of z's in common. So that's your answer. Okay, so that's going to take care of um, the key to this worksheet.